Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about the checkpoints. What are the checkpoints? How many types of checkpoints? And how can we use the checkpoints in the QTP? So let's take an example first to understand the checkpoint. Let's say when you are doing a recording, this is your application. Okay. And within this application, there is one edit box appearing. And in this edit box, the value is written as test. Okay. So when you execute this script, the application is like this okay and this is the same application again here the edit box is appearing and the value is test now what you want to verify the value of this edit box should be same at runtime also so this is your expected value this is what you want when your script is executing and this is your current value so this verification can be done using checkpoints a checkpoint is a verification point that compares the current value with the expected value for a specific properties of an object okay so there are different types of checkpoints in the qtp standard checkpoints standard checkpoints are applied on the objects like the edit box list box radio button web checkbox then simple button link images pages okay the page checkpoint applied on the page if you want to verify the number of images uh, the load time and the number of links appearing on the page the page checkpoint can be applied okay image checkpoint if you want to verify the properties of the image like the source of the image file the text that is attached with the image the location of the image like this can be used using the image checkpoint text or the text area checkpoint if you want to verify the text within the area that can be verified using the text or text area checkpoint next is the bitmap checkpoint if you want to do a pixel to pixel comparison of a whole page that can be done using a bitmap checkpoint Database checkpoint, if you want to verify the database, like the data in the table, the number of rows, the number of columns that can be done using the database checkpoint. We'll cover this checkpoint in the later videos where we are going to discuss about the database connectivity. The next is the XML checkpoint that can be used to verify the XML schema, the XML data. Okay, so let's look out these options from the QTP itself. In the QTP, the checkpoint option is available under the insert menu and within the checkpoint here. All the available checkpoints gets listed over here. At present, the checkpoint is disabled. Why? Because checkpoint is available only at the record time. When the QTP is in the recording mode, then only can the checkpoint be applied. Whereas, you can edit the checkpoint properties when you are not into the recording mode. Let's see the standard checkpoints. Okay. So do the recording uh, with the default option. Okay. Select the flight only option. And then select the round trip. Now here, what we want to verify, we want to verify the text of this edit box. So here we want to apply the standard checkpoint. So go to the insert option, checkpoint and select the standard checkpoint and then select the object on which you want to apply the checkpoint okay now see the object selection window will appear and it will show you the object that you have selected press ok now see the checkpoint properties window will open here the name field qtp assigns a default name to a checkpoint you can change it to your preferred name let's give it to the first check okay the table here, it shows all the recorded properties and their corresponding values for the object. So these are the properties that are associated with this type of object. The selection mark indicates that these properties will be checked. Okay, here the ABC icon indicated that the property values are constant. If you parameterize this, the, op the option gets changed. Let's stick to the constant only as of now okay and you can provide the value for each and every property okay let's say we want to verify the value here that should be blank so don't provide any value and then press okay 
okay now stop the recording see here one statement gets added with the check word it means here like the checkpoint is applied on this type of object okay now the recording stopped but you can change the properties by right click it and select the checkpoint properties and now see the checkpoint properties window gets opened you can change the name or you can change the value of any of the properties okay let's replay the script it's played successfully and see the test is passed why because our current value and the expected value is same we have verified for all these properties c and the current value and the expected value are same that's why this test case is passed let's do a small change in our checkpoint okay right click it then go to the checkpoint properties okay and from here just change the value property here and provide the name as a test now what it means it means our expected value of the value property is test here okay now replay the script once again okay now see our test is failed why because the current value of that edit box is blank over here and we have provided the expected value as test that's why this script is failed so this is how the checkpoints works it verifies the current value with the expected value you will see clearly over here for the value property the expected is test whereas the actual is blank that's why this test is failed so this is how the standard checkpoint works in the qtp in the similar manner the properties can be verified for the other object as well like the radio button the check box the button for the links and so on okay now next is page checkpoint the checkpoint that is applied on the page object so go to the recording mode once again insert checkpoint page checkpoint is also a standard checkpoint that can be applied on a page type of the object so select the standard checkpoint and click on the page now from the object selection you have to select the page object here select the page object and click on the okay now see the page checkpoint properties are here here the three properties are available with the page that is the load time number of images and the number of links you can verify the number of images that is appearing on the page number of links that is appearing on the page okay similarly you can provide your own name here let's verify the number of images properties here let's say let's give the name as uh, the sorry check it and let's say the value as 2 okay then press okay then stop here in the similar manner the checkpoint is applied on the page as well let's execute this code the test is failed let's analyze why this test gets failed we have applied the two checkpoint over here the first one is checkpoint it fails uh, with the previous reason as i have not updated its value as test let's check the page checkpoint why it is failed it is failed of this reason what we have given we have given the number of images as 2 our expected value as 2 but here the expected actual value is 35 okay so this is how the page checkpoints works the next is image checkpoint image checkpoint also applied in the similar manner as image checkpoint is also a standard checkpoint that can be applied on the image type of object so to apply the image checkpoint again press record insert go to the standard checkpoint and click on any image okay now see here in the object selection image object is appearing then press okay now see the image checkpoint properties windows gets open let's rename it to the image checkpoint 
okay now here all the properties that are associated with the image property gets listed over here you can check the reference of the image you can check the text if associated with the image the location of the image okay then press ok and in the similar manner the image checkpoint works you can verify the properties of the image checkpoint okay next is text or the text area checkpoint so for the text area or text checkpoints go to the checkpoint and select the text checkpoint okay now let's see i want to verify the car only text okay I want to verify that this text is appearing between the hotel only and the activities. So that can be done from here itself. The text checkpoint, it will check that car only is displayed between the hotel only and activities. You can configure this as well. It will show the text that we have selected from the application. You can select the text and change the checked text from this button. Okay then press ok now the activities will be checked ok now you, here you can provide the other values as well you can provide the text before as well if you want to verify that hotel only car only or flight only text should be appearing with before activities that you can provide here now if you want to verify the text after ok so activities the text after the activities is like let's say cruises we want to verify that cruises should appear after the activities okay check that activities is displayed between hotel only car only and the cruises so this way you can verify the text appearance on the screen okay next is the bitmap checkpoint now what bitmap checkpoint will works bitmap checkpoint will treat the whole web page as a bitmap and it will verify a pixel to pixel comparison of this bitmap so when you applied the checkpoint let's say select the checkpoint and the bitmap checkpoint and click on this page okay so it will prompt you for the object thus pressed ok now see it will select the area or the whole page ok and record it as a bitmap when you did the recording ok then when the script is executed the same page is again converted as a bitmap and both the images are verified at the runtime by pixel to pixel so this is how a bitmap checkpoint works so you can select the area as well from here select the area and select a particular area and then press ok now in this case it will verify a particular area also this is how the bitmap checkpoint works next is database checkpoint that we will see in the later videos the next is xml checkpoints so from here select the xml checkpoint and it will prompt you for selecting the xml file now here select the xml file i have saved xml here then press ok here the xml checkpoint properties will open this window will list all the nodes that are available into the xml file i'll show you that xml file as well this is the xml file see this has having a main node note then it is has a to from heading these are the node so these nodes are appearing over here as well so you can apply the checkpoints on these node as well like these are the different attributes you can provide the different attributes here on these nodes the value can be checked here and then just press ok now if you see in the QTP here the file gets added so in this way you can check the XML data the XML schema into the XML checkpoint 
so these are the different types of checkpoints that are available in the qtp you can verify the properties of the different objects you can compare the expected properties with the actual properties using the checkpoint in the qtp this is all about the checkpoints in the qtp so next is the question for you inserting checkpoint is possible when qtp is not in recording mode this statement is true or false put your correct option in the text boxes thank you